Scott and welcome to another edition of N5D Afterthoughts and today we're going to be talking about Doreen Virtue and how she's kind of gone off the deep end. What the f I know in case you guys haven't seen it yet she came out with a new article recently about all these horrible things about the new age and even though I don't really delve into the whole new age thing we're going to jump right into it. So why don't you follow me here as we jump right into this. Now this is her article that she has posted on DoreenVirtue.com and we'll, we'll just check it out real quick and I'll point out a few of these that we're going to talk about. Now Doreen published this article on January 21st, 2019 and she goes on to say right here the new age left me broke and broken. I don't want anyone to repeat these mistakes that come from the devil's deceptions. I spent thousands of dollars and decades of years taking new age classes and buying new age products and never finding any answers. I don't sell any new age products anymore, but other people continue to sell them. A maddening situation which is out of my control. Now, I have some of her products. Uh, this one is the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. Oracle cards and this one is the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards and apparently she still is making money on them. I know. So let's go on and check out some of these new age deceptions that she's talking about. The first one she has listed is aliens. What the I know. The fascination with other life forms can open you to demons pretending to be aliens and can also distract you from your godly purpose. Now we all know that there are good aliens and bad aliens out there. there you got your Dracos and your Reptilians, your Arcturians and your Pleiadians. Uh, some are malevolent, some are benevolent, but ultimately what she's really pushing here is not to look outside of anything other than Jesus and the Bible. Okay. What you should ask yourself is, if a UFO were to land in your backyard, do you think that the extraterrestrial would have money or a Bible? I think the biggest fear that's going on right now is that once we realize that there is terrestrial life going on outside of our solar system, as well as inside of our solar system, that it kind of discredits the Bible. For example, if say on Arcturus, do people need to be saved by Jesus on Arcturus? Or is that just here? Or, for example, within other religions, if, you do, if you're not Christian, then you can't be saved by Jesus if you don't believe in Jesus. So the whole extraterrestrial thing just throws up a huge red flag for me. Um, we've seen numerous videos of UFOs that are very credible. So right now for me, if I had to say yay or nay on the alien thing, whether it's real or not, or whether it's a new age deception. No, it's not a new age deception. Doreen goes on to talk about angel cards, which ironically are what I have bought. Here we have the goddess oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. And here we have the magical mermaid and mermaids and dolphins oracle cards. And she goes on to say that demons disguise themselves as angels and can give amazingly accurate predictions which tangle you up in a satanic web of deceit. The demons will give you a mixture of truth and lies to hook you and lead you to deception. Now you got to ask yourself who was giving her any kind of messages when she was making these cards. You know, so and how credible was she? And if she wasn't credible then, why, what makes her any credible right now? Let's move on to the next one. Uh, she goes on to talk about angel readings, ascended masters, astral projection. Here's one, astrology. I know. Astrology is the interpretation of an assumed influence the stars and planets exert on human destiny. This is a false belief. The royal astrologers of the Babylonian court were put to shame by God's prophet Daniel and were powerless to interpret the king's dreams. 
God specifies astrologers as among those who will be burned as stubble in God's judgment. Astrology as a form of divination is expressly forbidden in scripture. God forbade the children of Israel to worship or serve the host of heaven. See, what I find most fascinating about astrology is that the Bible is all astrotheology. For example, the blowing of the ram's horn was to introduce the age of Aries. Before that was the golden calf, which introduced the age of Taurus. After Taurus, we had Aries, and then we had Jesus feeding the masses with two fish and loaf of bread, which is the age of Pisces. And after that, when Jesus said, follow the man bearing the pitcher of water to the house, blah, blah, blah. That's to introduce the age of Aquarius, which we're in right now. So what the Bible doesn't want you to know is that it is all astro theology. Doreen goes on to mention chakras as spiritual power points and just a brief message on that. Yeah, chakras can be good. They can be bad. There's a lot of conversation going on, which is good and which is bad on both sides of the coin uh, maybe chakras are keeping us locked into this matrix maybe not they are energy centers though in our body and what i notice and i'm not putting doreen down about any of this stuff this is her opinion and you got to respect that what i'm noticing in this article is there's a lot of truth and there's a lot of deception so with any of this please use your own discernment she talks about channeled books. So here she talks about channeling. I know. Channeling. This is a practice of vacating your awareness so that a spirit can take over and communicate through you. Always remember that demons lie so they may falsely claim to be Jesus, an angel, a departed or loved one, or an entity. You don't want to take advice from a demon as they will tangle you into a stronghold. Avoid channelers and avoid channeled messages, including so-called Christian channeled books from Jesus. Now, what I found really ironic is if you go onto this website here, this is just a different page that she has. It's an update on Doreen's changes published on August 8th, 2018. She goes on to say, as you may know, I had a life-changing vision of Jesus on January 7th, 2017 that caused me to walk away from the new age. Now, what I find interesting is that isn't what she's saying right there, channeling. She had a life-changing vision of Jesus. So who is she channeling? Or does that not count? What the I know. Moving on to the next topic, she covers Christ consciousness, of course, in miracles, crystals, cults, deities and divinities, divination, dream catchers, drum circles. I mean, it's, it's absolutely astounding to see all the topics that she's covering and basically calling them out and saying that you're going to go to hell if you participate in any of these. Here we have earth angels, empowerment, energy healing, energy healing. I know. Energy healing, the belief that a person can be a conduit for universal energy through the use of symbols and their hands. This is the spiritual equivalent of opening your front door and inviting random strangers into your home. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that are energy healers. Some of you might do Reiki, you might do quantum touch. Uh, there's various modalities that people use when they're healing others. And that's, that is energy healing. And it has been proven to be effective. Uh, just like anything else, there doesn't work 100% of the time, but it has been proven to be effective. But if you're an energy healer, according to Doreen Virtue, you're probably working with some kind of demon. Doreen goes on to mention entity groups. And look at this. Fairies. What the I know. Fairies. Images of fairies are cute, but in reality, they're usually demons in disguise or an overactive imagination. We must be cautious about sparkly enticements that the devil places before us. 
pray for Holy Spirit's wisdom and guidance about having fairy images in your home. Fairies, really? I know. I'm going to leave it off here for my YouTubers. Uh, the rest of this I'll be covering on Patreon uh, for my Patreon people. I'll see you in a couple minutes. I just want to thank everyone on YouTube for uh, joining me, for subscribing. Um, a quick message to you guys too. I've got something coming out here um, probably in the next month or so. It's going to be really exciting. I've got probably going to be putting together a video channel. We have so many topics we're going to be covering, probably over 300 topics listed right now um, that we're going to be doing videos on. It's going to be new and exciting. We're going to be looking down the road for people to join us as hosts. Uh, you can host your own radio show or video show rather. And we're doing this through Zoom. So what we're basically doing is bypassing both YouTube and Facebook and all the censorship in between. So stay tuned to N5D and I'll be passing on more information about this um, in the very near future. So, so for all of you watching on YouTube, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. Namaste.